there's a plan afoot in Ganges. Steps being made towards finishing a project that was started over two decades ago. The pedestrian-friendly harbour is complemented by an iconic boardwalk. But it was never actually completed. Half complete, it says, has been called the, the boardwalk to nowhere, and we'd like it to go somewhere, and we would like it to tie the whole waterfront together, which it could. Peter Grove is a trustee for the Islands Trust, the governing body of Salt Spring Island. He's been working closely on revisiting the boardwalk idea with former chair of the Salt Spring Island Chamber of Commerce, Matt Stefich. He's the champion in every Every project needs a champion. Stefich, who also owns a fine arts gallery in Grace Point Square, is very much taking a lead role in bringing the stakeholders together, including the property owners and the Capital Regional District. So I came down here and spoke with one of the property owners who was here back in 88 when it all began, and he was able to give me the, the backstory to the project and um, why it came undone at that time. The boardwalk actually continues across there for a stretch, and then there's another section beyond that, but there's gaps in, in including this one uh, between where, you know, where we are and where we want to be. In 1989, boardwalk plans came to a grinding halt. An agreement couldn't be made on this 80-foot piece of property. Oh, and another issue, liability insurance. Well, the, uh, the CRD, the governing body of the day, was going to assume liability, but, and they simply proceeded with the boardwalk. They actually started to build it, and then during that process, they let the landowners know, well, actually, we won't be liable. You guys are going to have to be liable for it. And, of course, nobody wanted to step up to the plate on that, and that's, that's what ground it to a halt, was them putting the liability back on the property owners, which they didn't want anything to do with, which I totally appreciate. The CRD seemed to be on board with this project, even amid potential challenges with the ferry system, bringing people to and from Salt Spring Island. We have access, uh, as do other local governments, access to grant money. So there may be opportunities there if we had the right plan at the right time. And as far as the liability aspect, we have to look at the whole, what the boardwalk would look like. We're pretty optimistic um, that insurance will be dealt with. Again, it would probably be the CRD. And with insurance in place, we can move ahead. But it, clearly, that's an essential part of the, of the exercise. The original plan was to go about two thirds down the harbor. And then there would be a low tide pathway between where the boardwalk stopped over to Moby's Pub, which is at the very end of the harbor. Um, this time around, we would like to see it go all the way through to Moby's Pub, thus connecting one end of the harbor to the other. I think it's a terrific idea. The harbour has an awful lot of potential. It's a, it's a really pretty spot, so I think it's a great investment. We need tourist industry developing more and more and more, and the boardwalk would do it. These marinas down here are, are critical. They're a backbone to our economy, and clearly the boardwalk and the marinas working in concert together would be an, an exciting and awesome you know, addition to the, to the town. So it became sort of a passionate uh, goal to get this boardwalk back off the ground again. The Islands Trust are moving quickly to have initial design plans drawn up, but they aren't yet able to estimate how much it would cost to continue the boardwalk but they do hope to have the bridge completed within a few years. If it takes a little longer than that, so be it. There are definitely going to be hurdles, uh, but nothing that sounds insurmountable. So the quicker we can get it going, the better for everybody. And uh, we've got a beautiful natural harbour, and having a more accommodating access to it, uh, you know, I think it will be a tremendous economic stimulus for the island. From Salt Spring Island, I'm James Green.